Action. Action? Action. Action. Hey, friends, Russell. Come from the shop. Um, episode, I think, three, because we kind of did a one and a half, two, whatever, of uh, doing the motor swap in the XJ. Um, told you we were going to talk about all the parts that we swapped back over from the old motor to the new motor, so let's do that. We'll start on the distributor side. So we swapped over the oil pressure sending unit because the old one was good. Swapped our distributor housing, coil pack, got my uh, AC bracket already installed. As I mentioned before, I do not have the uh, AC bracket installed uh, because we use this bolt hole for slinging the engine. Come back to the other side. We installed our intake manifold, motor mounts on both sides, and our exhaust manifold, in this case a Gibson header. Um, fuel rails already installed. Throttle bodies installed. So the only thing I got left to do before we can put this motor in, I've got to install a thermostat and housing and a water pump. Uh, the water pump I'm going to use is a flow cooler, and then the uh, thermostat housing I'm using is the HESCO high flow thermostat housing, um, and I use uh, new old stock USA made stamp thermostats. So. I'm going to get these installed, then we'll get the motor slung and uh, finish with the backing plate and the flex plate and get it ready to uh, put in. Alright, so we've got, got our thermostat and our water pump installed. Um, I just want to go over one last time the parts that are swapped over or what we've installed into this to make it a ready to install long block. So obviously we've done a thermostat housing, which is a HESCO high flow unit. We've got a flow cooler water pump. We've got our alternator bracket installed that left off the AC bracket because we're using the bolts, the mount bolt, for the sling. Um, coming back around this side of the motor, we went ahead and installed our coil bracket and the coil. Uh, once again, in the previous video I mentioned, we're going to have ground wires, uh, wiring harness ground wires attached to both of these studs. We've got the uh, passenger side motor mount installed. We've got our distributor um, installed, oil pressure sending unit. Um, once again, this stud here will have wiring harness ground wires attached to it. This bolt here will have a uh, wiring harness loom attached to it. We'll come back around the other side. Uh, we put in a new uh, temp sending unit. Of course, this is a 96, so it has two, it has one for the uh, engine computer and then one just for the gauge. So we've got a new temp sending unit in it. Um, fuel rails reinstalled with uh, rebuilt Siemens um, upgraded fuel injectors. Cleaned up the throttle body and put on uh, um, mass airflow, throttle position sensor and a brand new IAC. Um, pulled all the uh, uh, fittings, applied new uh, Teflon tape and reinstalled the fittings and, uh, and then installed a brand new um, Mat manifold absolute temperature sensor. I take manifolds installed, Gibson headers installed, driver side motor mount is installed. So, and then this bolt hole here will have another wiring harness loom bracket attached to it. The only thing left to do to this engine to hang it is we'll have to pull it back off the stand, put on the uh, the backing plate and flex plate. Um, I've got a brand new flex plate for this motor and of course we cleaned up the backing plate. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, the next episode we will be actually installing the engine. We'll probably end up doing that later on today. So if you like this content go ahead and like, hit subscribe and hit that bell icon for future notifications and as always there's more to follow.